Yet another hit for families as the coronavirus pandemic continues to take a toll on school budgets across the state. Baltimore City Schools is ending the assignments of 450 employees and many of those are teachers. Now, last week, the CEO implemented a hiring freeze due to concerns about finances. WMER 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live now from City School Headquarters. Ray, I know you had a chance to speak with a teacher tonight who could lose his job, and apparently he said this kind of came out of nowhere. Nobody expecting this. That's exactly right, Kelly. And as you mentioned, the CEO sent a letter to staff last week about that hiring freeze, but in that it did not mention anything about this latest decision. Now, days later, hundreds of temporary employees will be gone after roughly three weeks into a virtual or I should say unprecedented fall semester. And losing these staff members will also impact thousands of students. My reaction, it was pretty complex. Anthony Avery is a computer science teacher at Hamilton Elementary Middle School in Baltimore. He's one of the 450 temporary employees who could be out of a job due to a budget shortfall brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. But Avery says he had no idea the district's issues would mean him losing his job. He got the news Tuesday. Been, I don't think even think I fully processed it. I think I'm still processing it as the days continue. Uh, on the one hand, I understand this pandemic has affected the entire world. It's affected everything and everyone. Um, on the other hand, devastated, especially once realizing who was included in that number. The CEO of Baltimore City Schools detailed the financial challenges facing the district in a letter last week announcing a hiring freeze. The CEO says COVID-19 related expenses such as buying laptops and hotspots for virtual learning and the lack of state and federal funds are reasons why the budget cuts are necessary. The teachers, the people who work in this school county are just so dedicated and so committed to what they do that if you lose that, you've lost the glue. Avery says October 2nd is his last scheduled day for work. He says more than 10 staff members at Hamilton will also be out of a job. It includes everything from uh, resource teachers, regular ed teachers, para supports, teacher assistants. Avery says he teaches more than 800 students in grades one through eight. He says after two weeks into the fall semester, this decision could have a negative impact on students who were already struggling to adjust to virtual learning. And they're not going to be okay with trusting just anyone coming in. They really get used to seeing us there and they're going to be devastated. And Avery also mentioned his concerns about virtual learning because he says he helped with tech support. Now, we did reach out to the district here, and a spokesperson reiterated that these employees aren't being laid off. I'm told the district is just ending their uh, temporary assignments, and I'm also told 200 of those workers last day will be on October 2nd. Live in Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. All right, thank you.